Hello and welcome. This video will cover the tri-pillar suspension experiment. In this experiment, you will be using uh, theoretical methods to calculate the polar moment of inertia in order to predict the oscillation time of a tri-pillar suspension. We are going to use this in platform and we are going to load it with three different objects. We got a hollow cylinder, then a square section and a solid cylinder. You are going to place these objects at different places from the center of the suspension where you are going to measure R for each of them. Then during the experiment, you will be using a stopwatch to measure the time required for the trifilter to, to oscillate 10 times. So, we are going to basically turn the platform to a certain degree, let it go, and log the time for 10 oscillations. A full oscillations you can count it when any of these corners come to the same position again. So, I'm going to give you an example here. Again. One, two, three, four, five, and up to ten. You are going to log that time and compare it to your theoretical results. You might change the position of each one of these masses and find out if that is going to change the oscillation time or what is its effect on general uh, layout of oscillation. The dimension and the weight of these objects is going to be provided to you. However, a vernier caliper is provided for you to measure both the cylindrical objects in here you will get outside diameter using the vernier caliper in this way and you will need to get internal diameter using the other side of the vernier caliper. You can use the same method to measure the dimension, the external and internal dimension of the square section. Measuring tape will be provided in case you want to take the measurement of the platform itself and the length of the hanging chains. Before you come to the lab, we normally use a spirit level to make sure the platform is level. For that purpose, you can consider all the three chains are of equal length. A weighing scale will be provided in the lab for you to take the weight measurement. We got different sets of these objects so you will need to make sure that you are, you are using the right information while doing your calculations, which will be the dimensions, which will give you the volume, and the mass of the objects. Safety shoes is really important in this experiment because these objects are heavy and the solid cylinder can go up to 8 kg. The platform itself can be removed by just removing the chains and that will allow you to get the weight of the pla platform alone. However, this will be marked on the platform itself uh, to save your time during the lab. So remember wearing safety shoes while doing this experiment and gloves is a good idea as some of these objects get rusted and have sharp edges due to welding inside. Thank you for watching.